Mm -hmm. Welcome to the <laughs> wonderful world of sports. What a great time to be a sports fan right now, not only with the Champions League, of course, round one of the quarterfinals last night, but the Commonwealth Games due to start today in the Gold Coast in Australia. Lots and lots of excitement, especially from a South African point of view. We're always uh, sitting in anticipation of what our athletes uh, can deliver on the world stage. Of course, today being the opening ceremony, which will take place between 11.55 and 3 p.m. South African time, I understand. So lots to look, at, look forward to there, um, with Casa Semenya being our I flag bearer. A great honor, and I think she's got a big year ahead of her. We, I'm actually going to hone in on her as one of the athletes to focus on. But just yeah. giving you a bit of an overview, South Africa, we've finished kind of there and thereabouts, but we've never really done but I think this year is going to be very different. We've seen our international athletes start to break new ground mm. in many respects. And of course, Casta is breaking new ground in the fact that she's not only an 800 meter specialist anymore, she's also doing the 1500 meters. Um, and I have get a feeling that there. she's going to get gold for both. Um, Australia uh, are going to love competing on home soil. They are the most successful Commonwealth team. Um, their total of 852 medals um, <laughs> kind of proves that. South Africa, we Shoot. currently lie in six with 352, but we really want to work on that. Mm -hmm. um, and our best overall finish, which was back in 1998 in Kuala Lumpur, um, was fifth on the medals table, but we want to push it up this year. Absolutely, and let's see absolutely. Who is going to do that for us? Well, we've spoken about our golden girl, Casta Semenya. Um, we know that she dominates the 800 meters. Um, she is going to be our flag bearer, which is going to send a message. And I think a lot of athletes are terrified of her, and we want them to be. Um, <laughs> that's exactly the message we want to uh, send. She's going to be pushing for gold 800 and 1500 meters. Um, the 15 isn't a specialist event for her, but she has really proven that she's got what it takes to do the event. Um, and um, she is going to be taking part in the Commonwealth Games for the first time, believe it or not. So, um, oh, she's my missed, goodness. Which, um, it's amazing to me. You know she's our Olympic girl, but she's going to really do well in that respect. Yeah, and of course in the pool, you've got to talk about the big names, Cameron van der Berg and Mr. Unbelievable, <laughs> Chad Leclo. Uh, we're also looking to the two of them to put in some really good performances in the events they'll be taking part in, the 50-meter fly uh, for Leclo on the 5th of April, and he'll be taking part in the 200-meter free and 4x100-meter free, uh, free relay on the 6th of April. Cameron will be in action breaststroke it in the 50 meter breaststroke on the 7th of April. Kind of sad, so it's um, probably going to be Cam's last Commonwealth Games, which he has said. So he's going to look to, to duplicate the three medals that he won in the previous outing. He's won six medals, which um, is nothing to sneeze at, as we always say. But um, Chad Leclo, I think, will become the most successful swimmer in Commonwealth um, Games history. Um, he's going to be looking to, I think, repeat the success he has every time he gets into the pool. We know this. Um, but seven medals was a record. He's going to go for those seven medals, uh, I think, again, in the events that he's swimming now. And that will make him the most successful athlete in Commonwealth uh, mm -hmm. competitor history. Current record of 18 medals is held by shooters Mick Gilt and Philip Adams. Um, and that's from six Commonwealth Games. Um, and he's got 12 uh, medals from tw uh, two games thus far. Um, so I think he'll push up to those 19 games this year. Um, and then Luva Manu a big challenge for him. It's his, his first outing without his coach. Um, Absolutely. But of course, he comes in with a, a fantastic performance from the Rio 2016 Olympics where he was silver, silver medalist. medalist yeah. He's a defending world champion. You almost will put that in his promo as soon as they introduce him. He also won the 2017 Diamond League as well. So he's going to be looking to bring us some real, real big medals there. But of course, th we've got some top medal contenders as well. If, if, if we talk about the Rugby Sevens, of course, they, they've had a, a fantastic run so far uh, in the... Um, yeah, the man, they, they're run. currently pushing favourites for the World Championships. We've got Sunet Falyun in the Javelin. Which, um, she took uh, silver in Glasgow. Akani Sabine, um, this is his time to shine. I think yeah. he is going to be a contender, not just in the Commonwealth Games, but for the next four years. Karen Simonia in the 200 metres as well. Of course, setting the uh, South African record recently, 19.69 this year. And of course, surpassing Wade for Nicker, who's recovering from injury. Wade, we're sorry that you're not going to be there. Yeah, but man. so good that his recovery is moving so fast. He is motivated. But it's going to be a good game for us. Yeah, man. and be sure to stay tuned to your Feel Good Breakfast show as we bring you all of the action and highlights from the Commonwealth Games daily.